My name is Lauren Pespiza. I am a film producer and a resident of Brighton. I'm also a victim of Brick. I tell you my story to show you that concerns about Brick's abuse of power to surveil and harass activists are not hypothetical. Brick targeted my husband and I relentlessly for years. Specifically, I was targeted and harassed by Boston Field Detective Andrew Creed for making the film 2020 The Dumpster Fire with my husband, Rod Weber. Andrew Creed is a detective with BPD and a JTTF officer and Brick agent who has spied on activists since Brick was commissioned. He uses surveillance tools to scan social media and target activists using hashtags like Black Lives Matter and Occupy Boston. The first knock came in January of 2021 when a proud boy told him that our movie trailer was a plot to assassinate Donald Trump. Huh? This claim was quickly put to rest, but Detective Creed continued to knock, subpoena, and harass our friends and family. He made at least 20 visits in 2021 alone, asking questions and threatening to put me in jail. When he was told to stop by the assistant U.S. attorney in Mass, he went to other states to find a prosecutor willing to continue this farce that led nowhere. This expensive harassment cam campaign is what you are paying for. I can't emphasize enough the trauma, stress, and financial pain that being targeted by an unaccountable and frankly creepy cop causes. My friends lost jobs because they visited their workplace and implied they were criminals. I was constantly getting calls from friends who'd been visited, telling me Creed showed them photos from social media and asked weird questions. When no one has anything bad to say, you would think he would stop, but no. He subpoenaed my Facebook, violating my privacy and gaining access to countless personal and non-criminal conversations. All of this over a satirical documentary trailer with Rod Weber, who's been following all along. Creed bragged about him following him to Standing Rock in 2015 on one visit. That sounds expensive. Why? He made it clear the goal was to silence us when he warned Rod not to speak publicly about the absurd harassment. I was targeted for speaking truth to power, and I am not alone. I had lawyers tell me, you are not the first young woman he's taken a disturbing interest in. Expanding BRICS funding means extending the harm that officers like Andy Creed can do. I urge you to vote against these grants. Please do not keep funding abusers. Grants to BRIC will not benefit the community. They will go to an Orwellian future where we end up paying for a boot to stump on our faces over and over forever. Thank you. Thank you, Laura. Please vote. Rod Weber. Rob, please state your name and affiliation for the record. You have the floor for three minutes. My name's Rod Weber. My affiliation is Dumpster Fire Films, LLC. Unlike my wife, Lauren, who just spoke, I'm not here to dissuade you from funding Brick. I'm here so you can make this make sense. We made a movie, as she said, 2020 to Dumpster Fire. On Apple TV, Amazon, vetted by lawyers. We have insurance agents up the ass. Everyone checking the T's, dotting the I's. Every which way, they make sure that everything is squeaky clean and above board. And you know what happened to us? This agent Creed, a brick, harassed my mother, Lauren's mother. They went to friends' workplaces, trying to get my trans friend, Emery Galen, to commit suicide. <sighs> Never mind. We've got lawyers up the ass, and it's on Apple TV and all that stuff. You know, and Andy Creed, Brick, they didn't care. Well, I'll be to Standing Rock, like Lauren said. Try to get my friend to commit suicide. And we just started to ask ourselves, how does any of this make any sense? How does any of it make sense? And then he told me, maybe you better reconsider your activism. Okay? Then he said, it's best if you didn't go public. Hmm. Sounds like a secret police to me. And then, you factor in the transphobia, and it makes sense that Creed went after me for filming Straight Pride in 2019, many of whom participated in January 6th and convicted! How do you make that make sense? But then it starts to make sense once again when Creed and friends said it was January 6ers 
They tip them off. They don't film with an act of terrorism. Utter nonsense. So they're having the terrorists say who the other terrorists are, allegedly. Unbelievable. So you ask how that makes sense. And then it made sense. Because we found out he's a Trump supporter. Going on his Facebook and other social media. Says that Sean Hannity is correct 91% of the time. And when our research uncovered leaked emails showing Creed's support of New England white pride... When Lauren and I are on the front lines, we're the first paid people there. When Patriot Front marched in July 2nd, which you were talking about, who was there? Me and Lauren. And we called out the mayor. We called out Rachel Rollins. We called out Police Commissioner Long, who said that there was no police response. There was no brick. And they lied. And I said, you are either lying or you are ignorant. And then the news cameras ignored me. And then I provided them photographs and video. Proven they lied! Agent Andy Green was there! Along with FBI agent Steve Campbell! Lies, 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 and more lies! And they tried to ruin our lives! And it cost tens of thousands of dollars in lawyers! They went on our Facebooks, our personal messages, new to my wife! Unbelievable! The scumbaggery! And you ask how that makes sense, and then it makes a little bit more sense when we dug into where those leaked emails came from. We started to find images like this, associated with Andy Cree. With the Jews you lose! Andy Cree to Brett! What's this one here? It's a monkey! It says, unfair, stop comparing us to N-words! How dare you? How dare all of you? And I ask myself, how does any of this make sense? How does it make sense that you've been lying for two hours straight? It's because you're on their side. You're on the side of the white supremacists. You support white supremacy. You support terror. And so I ask you, if you're going to fund these people, you better think long and hard. Remember these images here, and that's not it. I have the email, emails for everyone, the Facebook posts, more swastika cartoons, and it goes on and on. And I yield my time. Hey, could be a testimony, right? For more 2024 coverage, go to youtube.com slash rodweber. Support my work at patreon.com slash rodweber. And see our old film, 2020 The Dumpster Fire, free on Tubi.